What's up guys? Welcome back to episode 6 of the cart build. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is sanding this whole entire um, back half of the car. Uh, more so wire brushing it. Um, you can see here we're getting a lot of surface rust built up on it and I clean it up every now and then but it's just constantly coming back so what I'm going to be doing is sanding all this gunk off on both sides. It looks like it's that glue from that sound dampening stuff or whatever it might be. Um, and then I'm going to primer it just so that I don't have to constantly uh, wire brush it and clean it. So um, saw that the hoop was missing. I did a lot of research and I found out that those squares that I had tackled in before were actually not the best option. You can see right here the floorboard is very, very thin. So you want as much um, coverage as possible. So I went ahead and cut some more base plates and just um, gonna go ahead and tack weld these back in here because uh, this is very, very easy to bend. And again, you want as much support as possible uh, for the main hoop. So today's, um, today's work's gonna be sanding all this, primering it, uh, and then tack welding those in, and then getting the hoop back installed, and then we'll be able to move forward. So let's get started.
guys so the wire brushing is done um, in the middle of it I was kind of thinking why am I trying to make this look perfect uh, <laughs> it's definitely not a show car or anything like that so I went ahead and grabbed a rag and just wiped everything down just to get the dust off and everything uh, went ahead and taped the uh, wire up for the fuel pump so I'm gonna go ahead and put a first coat of primer on it uh, just to get it started to get it sealed and then we'll throw another coat on once that one's nice and dry so let's do it guys so went ahead and sprayed a few coats I don't think it looks very bad it actually uh, is a little bit more inspiring more motivating to get this thing done so definitely not bad in gray so I didn't spray all this because I'm gonna be doing a lot of work in that area so I just again not that I'm not doing a lot of work in this area too but I just want to get that where the majority of the surface rust was accumulating just want to get it taken care of so not bad I can't wait to actually iron out a good color for this thing and honestly I'm probably just gonna rattle can it at that point too um, obviously there's no point in getting this thing you know prepped for a paint booth or anything like that I'll probably just paint in here but we'll cross that bridge when it comes down to it all right so that is done guys it is the next day and I got Hunter here so uh, the other day, went ahead and primered it, so it looks nice and clean. So right now we're gonna go ahead and build these two um, pipes that go from right here to the hoop, and then we'll work on building the second uh, bar that goes from this side to that side of the hoop for the, um, the harnesses for the seat. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is a quick mock-up. Hunter went ahead and cut that one, and it's looking really, really good. So uh, we're gonna clean it up just a little bit more, make sure that it's uh, looking perfect, just like this one. Um, we're gonna clean up the hoop really well. I, as you can see, there's a lot of surface rust on there. So before we do any welding at all, we do have to um, clean it up really, really good. Uh, I just got some uh, some welds in, looking pretty good. So 
you guys saw in the previous video we're using a flux core welder i actually picked up this um new welder this mig welder which is much much a thousand times better uh you guys saw the old ones the old uh welds and they look like complete crap so with that being said actually here's a good example of the old welds see how crappy they are what we're gonna do is go ahead and take the hoop out we're gonna take those um base plates out and the hoop out and then we're gonna i'm gonna weld the hoop to the base plates and then we'll be able to put it in there and then really weld the um the whole entire hoop and everything into the car even better because obviously that's pretty crappy and we want to make sure that we have the best welds possible so let's go ahead and do it All right, guys, so we went ahead and got the uh, base plates removed uh, because we're going to go ahead and re-weld them uh, to the hoop. So what we're going to do is put um, a half a base plate here and a half a base plate here for more support, and we'll weld those to this right here. So Hunter just cleaned it up really, really well. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is place these um, really quick right here in the bed of the car. We're going to put the hoop in. We're gonna mark exactly uh, where we need it. Actually, you know what, I'll just tack weld it in and we're gonna uh, take it off of the car and I'm really gonna weld them in really, really well, uh, the hoop to the base plate because if I put the uh, hoop in right here, I can't weld the back end uh, very well. So we're gonna take that out right now, weld the hoop to these right here and then we'll move forward. So let's do it. Here's the mock-up. So, got both of those in. So they look great, they match up great. Um, we went ahead and took those off and cleaned it up really, really well so that we can get some better welds in there. So, not gonna weld it in just yet. Um, we really, really wanna get this mock-up. I'll be completely honest with you guys. We got a little carried away. Uh, but we went to try to start the car and it didn't start. And we were just going through the wire harness and as you can see it's a complete disaster so basically what's happening is when we're trying to start the car um the ecu over there is just clicking um it's not doing anything it's not sending any uh power or anything um to the solenoid starter uh the lights and everything for the cluster come on but nothing else is happening so uh we kind of put a pause on it and we just started kind of going through the wire harness trying to see what's going on with that because as I said previously, we really, really don't want to have to mess with any of the wiring. We really want to keep this thing intact as much as possible to where we don't have to do virtually anything. We just want to throw the cage in there and be able to drive it. Well, unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. So I'm going to be messing around with that for a bit. Um, so now that these are done, the next step, obviously, we're going to be welding a piece from uh, these two strut towers. That'll be fairly, fairly easy. But what's going to be really difficult is building the cage or the doors. Um, as I said in a previous video, I want them to come out and then go in. Uh, because as I said, I, I contacted our fabricator, the one that did the hoop, and they are book solid. So there's either A, we can build just the door straight from uh, the hoop over here to the body. Uh, or we can wait the extended time and have them custom make the uh, one that comes out and then goes in over here. So 
still debating on that. Um, next video, we're going to be cleaning all of this up right here and getting it really nice and pretty, removing all this stuff, because um, we want to be polishing everything, um, kind of get it really ready, you know? All this jagged stuff right here, that can really, really hurt you if you get caught on it, because it's pretty sharp, so. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for being patient with us. As I mentioned before, we are still working full time and trying to do this at the same time. So it really, really means a lot to us for you guys being patient with us. But slowly but surely, we are making progress as much as we possibly can. We don't want to take any short measures or anything like that. We want to make sure this thing is safe. So we want to make as every single adjustment that we possibly can to make this thing safe. So we will see you guys in the next video.